this is where the light colors are going to be. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this purple and just shade it out real light towards the top. Just to give it a little bit of color in there. And then we're going to go in there with some white and bring up. I'm going to spray this so you can see what's going on now. You can start seeing now the flower starting to take some shape in here. Even though this looks a little dark in here, when this heals, these colors, the new colors are going to be real bright. You don't have to worry too much about that. It's going to, it'll be fine when it all heals up. So just keep bringing that little bit of that lighter color towards the top, just brush shading it in. The next color we're going to do, I'm going to do the green on the leaves. So you're going to see me leave this alone here for a few minutes and we're going to go to the green. We're going to get that all done and then we'll go back and put all the light, the highlights in there and we'll have everything all set with that. We'll spray it off one more time and that's pretty much it for that, for the purple. Okay. Okay, now you can see that there's the, we got the blue, we got the purple. I'm going to go in here and do the green. We're going to get the stem done in here. You want to remember, you can leave the flower alone with those light colors. Still work if it's like a regular tattoo, do the darker colors first. Normally, on some of the other videos, you're hearing me tell you, start at the bottom and always work your way up with the colors and stuff. On this particular piece, it didn't matter because... The darkest colors were at the top anyway. There wasn't really that dark of a color down here at the bottom. And you can see some of the old tattoo under this one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to color it like I normally would with this green, and I'm going to leave a little bit of the edge for some highlights. Again, so everything's not one shade, everything's not real dark. You remember I was telling you when I went over it, you can see this one particular leaf has got an old one in there. So you want to just bring your color up, but I left a little bit of new skin. I made that leaf a little bit bigger than the old one, even though it exactly covered it. So I can put some new ink with some real light edges on it. So there's, it won't ever tend to be a big dark, one dark spot on there. Sometimes you have to be a little creative when you're doing cover-ups. You know, adding little pieces here and there, but when you're done, you're going to have a nice, picture rather than just trying to find one that exactly fits over it. That's almost impossible. You're, you're always going to have to do a little bit of work on them. I'm going to cover up these green ones up here. Now it's starting to take some shape here. I'm going to wipe it off and you can see what we did with the green. Spray a little green salt. Now you can start seeing the shape of the flowers where the, the greenery comes through. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to put in some yellow and then we'll do those, the last of those white highlights. Now you can see it's all cleaned up and we're going to put in the yellow. I'm going to, now I'm going to work it from the bottom up. I'm just going to put in some yellow highlights in this stem here. Whenever I do stems and stuff like this, I go right over the old color that I just put in the old color, the new color actually. I go right over that green because it'll, the yellow will always show through and it'll give it like different shades. It'll go from yellow to like a kind of a lime green to a dark green. And again, all these colors that I'm putting in here now, these light colors like the yellows and stuff, you're bringing them up into where that old tattoo was. And that's going to help lighten up that old ink underneath and give it a really nice look and it'll never look like a big blob. Just remember, when you do a cover-up, you don't want it to look like you did a cover-up. There's nothing worse than seeing hearts with people's names in them, and people just take black ink and cover it up. There's plenty of ways to get around that 
putting flowers over the names and stuff like that, or tribal designs work well, rather than just taking and blacking out a banner. And that's probably going to be one of the bigger cover-ups you're going to do with a lot of names. You'll cover up names on people. So you want to make sure when you cover it up that people aren't going, hey, what used to be underneath there? You want something that's going to cover up there and look at it and go, hey, nice tattoo. That's about all we need for yellow in here. I'm going to clean this off and then you can see what it's starting to look like now. i got all the leaves all done up in here. Now I'm going to go in with, I'm going to, I'm going to make a mix. I'm going to take some of this purple that I used here. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white and finish following up here and then just a little bit of white highlights and we're going to be done with that.